so good evening guys so today we will see how to install android studio and you will see how one install android studio and then use flutter to set up my first project okay so let's just start get started so i'm here in my google chrome and i will search normally for android studio so herein you have something like and download android studio and sdk2 okay so you just need to click it here although i have it installed i'll just show you how to download it okay then how to install that so just click here on install i have to read this if you want you can read this because but i am not reading this okay i am just going to bypass this i have read and i'm just going to click on download android studio for windows okay so the download process has started okay so now let's just work for flutter so you can easily enter android's flutter setup in windows so yeah here is the link that you guys can use yeah uh, what we will do is we will also push uh, paste this same link in the description as well okay so so first thing guys that you need is make sure you have windows 7 at least windows 7 and it should it it can be greater than windows 7 and make sure it's a 64 bit because flutter won't be uh, good for you can say uh, 32 bit so you need at least 64 bit architecture system okay. so now what you need is something called as flutter sdk okay. so that you have to download okay so my android studio is completely different thing and this flutter sdk is completely different thing okay. so i'm just going to click here so this process has also been started so make sure guys you understand this thing so android studio so is different from flutter sdk okay guys so that thing has to be very clear okay so you need to download android studio and you need to download flutter sdk as well okay so we'll just wait for a few minutes okay wonderful so this flutter sdk has been downloaded so i can just go to my downloads i can just refresh it okay do we see anything like flutter sdk okay yeah so this is where we have flutter windows i'm just going to copy this okay so you can you want to paste it in c drive you want to paste it in d drive it's all completely up to you i'm going in my d drive I'm just going to create a new folder. Okay, or you can directly just paste it. Yeah, yeah. And you can simply extract all. Okay, so it can be anything, but I would simply say, when simplicity sake, I'll just say inside D drive, I have one folder that's Flutter. And let's just say that's Flutter SDK. And let's just extract that. So this extraction might take some time. Yeah, this process will take some time. okay so parallelly we can also check for android studio yeah it's getting 
getting download, downloaded. So we'll just wait for a few minutes. Okay, so it's already too late. So I'm, I'm just going to cancel the process. Okay, so I'll just show you what I have done. Okay, so once I downloaded this letter SDK, okay, I'm just going to copy this letter SDK and I'm just going in my C drive. And here in you can see I have this letter. Okay, so this letter folder is basically the extracted file that you have okay the one that you download that's a zip file so after extraction uh, i'm just pasting it in the c drive it's all up to you you wanted to paste it in the d drive or any anywhere you want okay the dart is com that completely different thing so you just right now work on the flutter okay yeah so i have done that and i have also also in uh install this android studio okay so now what i need to do is i just need to uh, set up my android so i'm just going in my android studio okay so i have just installed that android studio okay guys so now what you guys need to understand is uh, Flutter is a separate thing, 
and android studio is a separate thing okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going on this file menu and inside this file menu okay this is in only in windows okay so right now we are working only in windows so in this file menu you have something called a settings so if you just click on the settings so yeah so you have appearance uh, and behavior key map editor plugins okay so make sure you click on this plugin and make sure you click on marketplace you don't click on installed in installed i have different um, plugins installed okay so just go to marketplace and just search for the plugin so just go for dart so the first plugin that you need to install is dart so i have already installed this i don't need to install this but you just need to click on so let's just say i'm i'm using this json to dart i can just click on this install okay so you don't have to install this json to dart but yeah you you have to install this dart package okay so once you have in installed it you should get something like this okay. and apart from dart what you need is flutter okay so same same process you just install it and then click ok so once everything has been done so yeah you can see okay so there is an update or the process has been installed or the plugin has been installed so you just need to switch uh, close your android studio i'm just closing it and i'm going to open my android studio again okay so the moment you open your android studio again you should get something like this file inside file you should have new and inside new right now you earlier you were having only new project but right now you should get also new flutter project okay so once you click this uh, new flutter pro project make sure you do it for once okay so i am just selecting this flutter application i am just going to click okay now now this thing is actually very important okay so first thing that you need is the flutter app okay so that's the basic project that we have now sometimes you are not sure where your flutter sdk is so i am telling you again so this is just the folder name okay wherein you have extracted your you you had your flutter sdk downloaded okay so that was a zip file okay so that zip file has to be extracted okay so this flutter sdk path is just asking me to the location for the extracted file okay so if you are not sure where is uh, where it is you can just click it here it can be in the c drive or d drive that's all up to you okay uh, i would say that's right now i know that's in the c drive so i can just click on c drive and inside c drive i have in flutter okay that that's it and after that that's just the project location where you want this project to to be created okay so in d drive i have something called a central project i, I can simply create it and let's just say because i already have this flutter app so i'm just going to say okay so okay i'm having a flutter app uh, demo or yeah that's fine so now i'm getting this next button okay because that is a good project name okay and it's not clashing with any of my project name so yeah that's perfectly fine and i can simply click ok next yeah and make sure you include both of these things so it should be kotlin support and it should be swift support um we did this thing in uh, previously in our previous session so make sure you select both of these things and you just need to click finish just wait for a few minutes it will just create a flutter project yeah so not a, not an issue you can just create click on this this window so now as you can see we have the same structure here as well so flutter app demo we have this lib and yeah guys okay so we were here at this uh 
after we have downloaded the files okay so now i just want you to see this thing i'm just going in my downloads okay so in my downloads you can clearly see i have a android studio that's the setup file for android studio you can just double click and install it okay i have already installed it i'm not going to install it now yeah i can just click okay let's i can just cancel it and i have this zip file okay so make sure guys uh, all of you need to just understand this thing this zip file cannot be used right now okay so you need to copy this and you need to paste it inside the c drive or d drive wherein you want okay just remove uh, move it from the downloads okay so let's just say i took it from downloads and i pasted it inside the c drive and if i just paste it in the c drive i have to extract it later as well something like let's just say okay not an issue yeah so i have this zip file and zip file has to be extracted okay so i'm just going to say okay extract in this folder so it's c flutter so i already have this flutter so now i'm just saying okay so flutter as uh something like flutter stable that's it okay yeah so it's going to take some time so to just cut short to the point where how we are going to use it i'm just going to click a cancel here okay because i have already downloaded this thing yeah i can just continue and delete this okay so it should come like this okay it can be flutter folder it can be flutter stable whatever you want but make sure that there should be no space in between the folder name okay um i will be highlighting this as well so so make sure uh, keep it as a note once you have downloaded the flutter sdk it has to be extracted in uh, from the zip file it has to be extracted okay and make sure folder name should not contain any space okay so it if you want it should be separated the name only by underscore okay it should not be anything else okay yeah that's right okay so i'm just going in my uh, windows again okay so i'm back to my downloads and let's just say i i go to the c drive okay so i have this flutter installed and now i'm just going to search for android studio okay so let's just say we'll just search for android studio yeah okay so that's a already built in project so i'm just going to close this and i'm going for this file menu okay so once you see uh, you have downloaded two things that's the flutter and that's uh, android studio okay so now to merge them both of them you just need to uh, okay so make sure this uh, this thing is only in windows okay so we are not going and uh, doing it for ubuntu or mac that's for later on so for now i'm just going in this file menu and in this file menu i have some the settings so if i just click on settings so yeah you can see there are different things so in the left hand side we have appearance we have key map we have editor we have plugins okay so plugins is the place wherein you are going to install your packages okay so make sure inside plugins there are two things okay so there is something called marketplace and there is something called installed okay so i have already installed dart and flutter okay so what i will just show you how you can install it as well so i'm just going in my marketplace and let's just say i'm here i can search for flutter okay so i have already installed it so that's why i'm getting this installed but if you are not, if you don't have this flutter here so you can just click on this install button 
okay so let's just say i click on this install and then i click on this okay so yeah so now you can see after i have uh, installed flutter so it's asking me to restart android studio to apply the changes so i can just say okay let's just install uh, re restart it okay so it will just restart itself yeah it has restarted okay not an issue like java fx we can deal with it later on okay yeah so now i just need to go back to settings i have installed flutter and make sure i'm in plugins inside marketplace and now you have to install what dart okay. i already have it installed as well so you can just click on install and click ok and once you you have done that make sure inside installed you have dart as well as flutter these both things should be there you can just click on ok okay now yeah that's it so once you have done that make sure you can go to file just go to um, obviously make sure you restart this android studio only okay you just need to go to file and inside this file okay so we have new we have something called as new project but we ha also have a new option something called as new flutter project okay so the moment you click on this new flutter project yeah you have something called as new flutter application plugin is there package is there so we are not going to cover that so we'll just cover something called as flutter application and i'm going to click next okay so the moment i click next i have i have to uh, tell the project name okay so for now uh, obviously i have flutter app a lot of i created created this flutter app okay so let's just say we are just creating a new app okay make sure in programming you don't use space so let's just say we can install demo okay so it's the name of the app app is basically separated by underscore okay now herein you have to understand this thing okay so there is flutter sdk path so if you're not sure where it is it's basically the path wherein you have downloaded and accepted that flutter sdk okay so i'll just tell you this so if i just click here you can just see i have some inside my downloads i have this a lot of different uh, folders okay so herein i i just need to specify this flutter sdk path to the folder where i have extracted that file okay so if you guys remember yeah so after downloading that extracted file that flutter file okay so we extracted it okay so this is the extracted file this is the folder which contains all the different files okay so what you need to do is for now make sure this flutter sdk path should point to that particular folder location that's it okay inside c drive i might have diff 10 different folder okay so it should point directly to that folder which has which contains this flutter sdk okay and then that's the project location okay and yeah that's the description and then let's just click on next and yeah uh, make sure previously in we all covered this thing include why we need and why it's suggested that you uh, that you should inc include kotlin and swift support okay so we just need to check this both of these both of them and then click finish okay so let's say uh, so it will take some time to create this flutter project and obviously you can just click on this window and that's it done so my new flutter project is ready okay so okay guys thank you so much so we'll meet in the next session okay, wherein we will have other things in place okay so we'll work on validations we are going to work on forms and yeah the state management that we left on okay so we're going to work on that state management again okay okay guys bye bye take care
180 hours, 30 plus live projects, one-to-one -one doubt sessions, lifetime career guidance, 